This little experimental aircraft features a wing made completely out of small strips of foam board which overlap each other and allow air to flow in between them. This idea was triggered by an even weirder project by What Next Joe called The Stairway to Heaven. The results of this experiment was an unstallable wing with very high lift and even higher drag. Leading edge slats are kind of like little wings in front of the main wing, which pre-redirects the air over the main wing during high angles of attack to delay stalling until a higher angle. Slotted flaps are like little wings on the back that take the air previously redirected by the main wing and push them even farther. Airliners use multiple slotted flaps. So why not take this all the way? Let's just make a whole wing out of little wings, each little wing taking advantage of the one before it to form one big crazy compound wing. And that's what I tried to do. But why do wings stall anyway? This is super cool, so hang on while I do a terrible job at trying to explain. So first, you need to consider two things. Firstly, air has friction, also known as viscosity. This causes a thing called the boundary layer, where the air close to the surface doesn't actually move at all. This is why the wind on the freeway doesn't clean your car for you, it's still dusty. Secondly, when a wing creates lift, air is being accelerated and redirected around the upper surface where there is a low pressure zone. The higher the angle of attack, the greater the difference in pressure and the more lift. Notice this area right here. The air traveling through this area is getting flung into an area of greater pressure than where it's coming from. And that's weird because things always want to travel from high pressure to low pressure. But in this case, the air has enough kinetic energy to push through it. But at some point, when you increase the angle of attack and the adverse pressure gradient gets too strong, the air in that boundary layer doesn't have enough energy to make it all the way. It slows down to a halt, and eventually it actually starts to go the other way at the surface. BAM! That is a stall. When the boundary layer reverses flow, then the airflow separates, and this line of reverse flow is called a separation bubble. So a thing we can do to delay stalling is we can allow high pressure, high energy air from below the wing to leak above the wing and give that boundary layer a good push. I pitched this idea to my girlfriend one weekend and she gave it a try. She cut strips out of Dollar Tree foam board and then cut out some guides to hold them in place. She wanted a shark plane so she put fins on it. Then I made a simple V-shaped fuselage with a balsa motor mount and landing gear mount and the gear was made from bent steel rod. The wing was mounted at a high angle of incidence and just rubber banded on like so. It's kind of hard to tell, but with the high angle of incidence combined with the aircraft's high angle of attack, that wing is at a really high angle of attack. It had a really soft and mushy but kind of unstallable feel. It's kind of weird. A fun fact is that this airplane has flown in more places than any other I've ever had. So far it's flown here, 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 and here. Thanks for watching, and let me know if I got a little too crazy with the fluid dynamic stuff or if you enjoyed it. Wow.